cherished art of film making. From humble beginnings to today's blockbusters, movies have always fascinated people. But just how do they make a movie, you ask? To answer that, we need a suitable guinea pig, I mean eager student. Now, where do we get one of those? No. No. Not him. Found one! Hey, you. Who? Oh. Me? Yes, you. What are you doing in there? Well, it's Wednesday, isn't it? Yes, but what does that got to do with anything? I always dig through the trash on Wednesday. What? Never mind. Would you like one of your ideas to become a movie? No, not particularly. Well, if I told you there was fame and fortune involved. Did you say fortune? What do I sign? The first step in making any movie is coming up with an idea. This could possibly be the most difficult part of the whole process. Nah, that's stupid. It won't take me more than a few minutes at most. Hmm. I know. I'll do one about a guy stranded on an island who gets rescued by pirates. Nah, that's too stupid. Oh, how about a dog named Old Yell? Nah, too far-fetched. I could do one about a guy named Rigel that has funny adventures with his friend Jim with a G. No, that won't work. Nigel! Nigel! Ah! It's not my cat! What? Have you come up with anything yet? Ah, uh, no. Uh-huh. Why don't you check your email for inspiration? Pfft, nobody ever sends me anything. Check the email! Egad, okay, okay, I'll check my email, gosh! That's it! I'll make a movie about an Australian treasure hunter who finds a lost Egyptian tomb. Oh yeah, all good. <sighs> Next, the intrepid young filmmaker turns his simple idea into a script. His first thought is to jot down the main characters, locations, and plot. Now he adds secondary characters, screen details, and witty dialogue. <laughs> ah, that's a good one. Next, he adds the finishing touches. Now he rewrites the whole thing again, correcting errors, changing minor things, and overall improving the flow of the movie. What? Now. Now he takes a short break. Ah! And rewrites it a second time. Next, the intrepid young filmmaker gathers his perfected script and mails it to a film studio. <laughs> uh, sorry, Sonny, I don't think I'm going to have enough postage for that. Uh. Stones. Ah, the author should always be prepared for rejection. Once the studio approves the script, they begin looking for the proper actors. Hey, Johnny T, how would you like to have the lead part in my movie? Nigel Squiggins? Oh, I'm not selling vacuum cleaners. 
Hello? Hello? Hmm. Who else can I call? Hello? Jim? This is your old pal Nigel. What do you mean what do I want? I'm hurt that you would even think that I'm calling because I want something. Uh, but now that you mention it, can I borrow an Acto 5 uh? Hello? Hello? Huh. I never liked him anyway. Hey, Tim, what are you doing this afternoon? After all actors have been hired, and while they're learning the lines, the various sets must be built before filming can begin. How's it going, Freak? Just needs another Kodo paint, boss man. Good! Did you come in under budget? Or under the 300,000 more. Great! I didn't know you could accomplish so much with Star Phone. Careful look around, you're the boss. Indeed I am. Alfred must have missed that one. Ah! Oh, yeah, it's just Starfo. After the sets have been built, the director can begin filming the movie. Alright, you're Johnny Thunder, world famous Australian treasure hunter. You've just found part of a map leading to the treasure of some now dead Egyptian guy from 1200s La La, and are at the airfield so you can catch a flight to Greece to look for clues. Laces, everybody! Lights! Camera! Action! Hey there, laddie! Cut! Um, Tim? Yes, sir? What was that? It was Scottish. Yeah, okay. You're in the outback, not the highlands. Try it again. Lights. Camera. Action. Hello there, eh? Cut! That was Canadian. You're still too far north. Try a little more southern. Lights. Camera. Action. Howdy, y'all. Cut! Wrong hemisphere. We're not doing a western. Hey, Nozzle. What? You catch more flies with honey than you do vinegar. Hmm. Yeah, alright. Um, Tim. Look. You need to do an Australian accent this time, okay, buddy? Okay. Right then. Lights! Camera! Action! G'day, mate. I'm looking for flight number two. It's right over there. Dunker. Ah! Once a movie has been filmed, soundtracks must be added and the director and his editors can begin to pick the best scenes and put the movie together. Hey Randy, how's it going? Oh, I'm glad you're here. I'll watch out for that extension cord. The movie is coming along great, we just need to do a little more editing and we'll be finished. Sounds good. Uh, I just need your approval on some stuff here. Right, what you need? Well, first off, I need to know which soundtrack you want for the chase scene. This one? Or this one. Track two, definitely. Alright, track two it is. Ah, uh, what else? Uh, next thing is we're a little over the time limit, and I need to know if you want to cut the chase scene down a little bit, or the intro. Um, cut this chase scene down. Okie doke. Anything else? Nope, that's it. All I have to do now is save these changes and we'll be ready to put the movie together. Great! Just continue on, I'll be right back to help. Right. You know, maybe I'll just leave this in your capable hands. Now comes the most nerve-wracking moment of the process. You're telling me? Shouldn't you be in there? I couldn't take the pressure anymore. Good grief, man. Who's your producer? The Iron Fist himself. You don't mean... Yes. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. The review. 
the movie is being viewed by the studio owners who can have the movie changed shortened or cancelled oh don't say those terrible words sorry about that hey nigel yes mr owner did you like the movie sir since when do you start calling me sir since my fortune depends on it now out with it man the movie's approved here's your check yes i never thought you'd actually make it <laughs>